OK, let's go and quickly over uh, fluids. The fluids is a bit different from, so we can go to uh, here, there's a fluid tab, and, and you go back to dynamics. The fluids is a big difference from particles because they don't exist outside the container. So in order to create that, that smoke, you, gotta have, you have to have your container. What's, the, what's this container? What's inside this container is a, is a voxel grid. So that grid, we can, we can uh, uh, where is that, uh, display. Yeah, if you select that container and you go, you have a bunch of attribute editors. So let me show you what's inside the container. Boundary draw, okay, frame display. <coughs> Yeah, so basically this is grid and made of, you see that grid? So right now the, my resolution is based, base resolution is 10, uh, is 10. So that means on every unit here, I'll have one, one, one voxel. So it's the, uh, the my, computer si my uh, container size is 10 by 10 by 10 and the resolution is 10. That means it has 10 by 10, it has 100, it has 1,000 vox, 1,000, uh, 1,000 squares, 1,000 cubes inside. And each time we, 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 have, we, we add a meter, first we have a container, right? There's nothing happens. We play it, nothing happens. We have to create a meter. And now the meter, meter will, will emit into this, uh, will emit voxels. And imagine it's like, a, it's like it has water in it and you drop, uh, you have a drop of ink. So that's how it behaves. You want, they won't leave the container like particles. Everything happens inside this container. The cool feature in Maya 11 now is that if we add, so you go fluid, you have fluid effects here, and then you can add, you see add edit content, add a meter. So now we have a meter here inside. It will emit some smoke. So right now it just, you see it hits the, 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 the edge of container and that's it, it just goes around. It's not, it will never leave. It only exists inside this container. That's how calculation is made here. So, what we have in the, in the attributes, basic. So we have a meter. A meter we can, we can be also volume, like particles, and that's, that's fluid emitter. And then you have a, you have content methods. So you have a, this, this, this part, the beginning, dynamic grid. You see it's set to dynamic. You can set it to gradient and all off, for example. So your density will be gradient. You just, you just fill container with the, with the fluid. So right now, you have, you have kind of, you know, foggy uh, container. So right now nothing happens. There is no simulations. It's it's not non-dynamic, and that's just to show you how you can uh, adjust the shading properties. So uh, boundary draw display. So here in the shading you have transparency. And you have a drop-off shape. Right now it's cube, but you can do it sphere, and then you can make it smaller, bigger. That's far. You can you can still see. You don't have. It doesn't have to be dynamic. I'll show you examples of non-dynamic, non-dynamic uh, fluids. You can make like you can create sun. You can create all kind of. You can even make explosions, which you can just key. And it it, it calculates. You can add much more resolution to that, since it's non-dynamic and the. <coughs> the computer does have to simulate uh, dynamics per, per voxel. So, okay, there's a drop off edge. You see it's like it draws, it kind of cuts off around and uh, there's a cube and there's also there's an edge. You can move that edge around and there's a cone for some reason. 
might be useful, I don't know. There's a, there's a double cone, even less useful. Never, never, never had the idea what it's for. And also, you see, if we go up and crank up the resolution all the way to 100, see? It just got a bit slow. Let's, let's do 50. So it still runs fast. Yeah, it's pretty fast now. So you see, that it makes like kind of of those tiny cubes, but you don't. You just see the preview. So double cone. That's in where is that shading? Yeah, and then there's Y gradient, for example, and we can adjust that. <coughs> so we can fill up and down. See, and then here we have a color. So in order to see that better, we can change to to gradient, and we'll say, okay, Y gradient, and then let's add some, some gradient. Make it bluish, kind of, and then, so we have all the, like, polluted sky here, <laughs> see? That's in color. All right, and that's not we, we only tweak. We only here we only uh, adjust density, and our density is set to constant or well. So that's all right. So constant, and now what else here? This incandescence is opacity. It's basically it's basically the same as transparency, but it's uh, it gives you a little bit different results. So this is. We'll do it later when I when we create explosions. So let's go down instead of uh, dynamic. Let's set dynamic grid on density and give it more. Now it's now it became slow, so we have to reduce our resolution. Where are you right now? Carbons Yeah, I'm in. The, I went up. All the way, see, like scrolled up, this all the way up to container properties. Oh, okay. So let's close all this stuff back. All right, so container properties, and here we have a resolution. Right. And there's a great thing, for example, if you have a, it wasn't possible, you used, you used to have, you would have to build your container before you run, before you, I mean, when you, you plan your simulations. And your shape of the container wouldn't change. Now, you have a thing called auto resize. So, if you click auto resize, and I think that's a cool feature, so I, uh, worth mentioning it. So, if you click auto resize, your container will grow up to maximum resolution, and will go like we move that meter up a little, so you will see. Let's emit some more stuff from it and give it more buoyancy. Let's emit some more, more density from it. So let's put that's emitter emitter attributes. Okay. See the great jumps. It pops up. So because our, our fluids, our, our fluid. Let's let's give it some more buoyancy to the so it float faster. So I select my if my container. And I go down to dynamic simulations. Everything that you know pushes it around, it's, it's probably it's probably going to be dynamic simulations. Everything that shades it, it's going to be in you know shading color. Uh, so gravity, ah, okay, content details, and then here we have density, and we give it some. Let's see density, content details, dynamic grid. Shading, I think shading is really good. Okay, drop off. Mm -hmm. 
just make a new one. Something wrong here. Okay. Select that one. Density. Okay, now I have balancing. All right, so dynamic, ah, velocity was off. All right, sorry about that. So it floats down, up. Let's kick it a bit more. And then we'll, we'll, cl uh, we'll click all the resize. So we go back. You click all the resize, and then you click all the resize here. We open that menu. See what's going on? Our fluid is growing up, and our, our containers also. This is a very cool feature, and it's new. So as long as the fluid is, you know, don't dissipate, it keeps growing, and that's cool. So let's disable that. We'll go over. All right, so right now we emit density only. So container met contents method. So we have our base resolution, we have our, well, boundary, I mean, you can do, uh, you can have no boundary, so your fluids, for example, you, uh, Y, let's say just bottom. So it's minus Y side. In this case, our fluid won't hit the edge, it will go through. You see it goes through? Kind of. It doesn't go, it doesn't, you know, fill the container. Mm -hmm. Because we have only negative we have only boundaries on, on the sides of a container, but these are on top. We can also apply, we can also kind of cycle it. And we say uh, wrapping. We'll see what happens. Count, this, you know, dissipates on top. It's, well, we don't see that. It's supposed to be common, common on the bottom, so it's kind of cycling around. But most, most of the time, we just need you know, either, either minus Y or all sides. So we want to keep it. Unless we're like, we have a camera here, you know, somewhere, and there's a blast, and we don't care what's going on, with, you know, it just, it just dissipates, so it's gone, gone somewhere, so we say, okay, minus, minus y, and it, it's gone. All right, so we have uh, density, velocity, dynamic, set to dynamic green. We have display, uh, you can have a better quality, and then here you can tweak, well, you, when you do run your simulation, you have a, you, hit, you see in container, you have a, few uh, methods. One is, you know, number one is density and velocity. So this is set to dynamic grid. That means we ha will have our simulation run. We also have temperature, which can push our voxels around. And there's a fuel that can feed that temperature, like, like a regular fluid. Let me show you something with the, with the, with the fuel. Uh, one of those, I, I'll, I'll keep those files here. Mm, volumes, where are my volumes? Okay. Fluids, no, okay. Fluids, and then our techniques. No. Fluids one intro. Scenes, and let me show you a few. 